Welcome to Narader Academy. In this video, we are going to discuss about conformal mapping and how to find the angle of rotation and scale factor for the given conformal mapping. So before going to the definition of conformal mapping, let's see what is a simple closed curve. See, a curve is said to be simple if it does not have any intersections. That is, see, look at this curve. This is coming like this, no, if the given curve does not have any intersections like this, it is called a simple curve. So since it is intersecting at this point, no, so this is not simple. Whereas look at these curves. These are simple curves. Okay. Now, when you see this curve here, let me start from here. If you start tracing from here, see the beginning and the end points have the same value, you know, that is z of a equal to z of b. That type of curve is called closed curve. Okay, simple means it does not have any intersection. Simple closed means what? It does not have any intersection except at the uh, beginning at the ending of the interval. So these are simple closed curves, whereas this is simple, simple but open. These two are open and this is not simple. Okay, a simple closed curve is otherwise called a Jordan curve, right? Now, let's come to the definition of a conformal mapping. Here, what I'm taking is, uh, see, in the z plane, I'm taking two curves, C1 and C2, okay? So what are the uh, nature of the C1 and C2? C1 and C2 are two regular curves, right? Regular curves means what? The tangent exists at each and every point of the curve, okay? And then this curve is passing through the point z0, the point where they are intersecting, no? This point is called z0, okay? These two curves are intersecting at z0, okay? Now, the angle between these two curves, let us take it as psi, right? So, I am taking two regular two regular curves passing through the point z0 in the z plane, okay? And their respective images in the w plane are taken to be c1 dash and c2 dash, Okay, then at the same point here, here this is Z0, no, this is the image of Z0, W0, okay. Here also they are intersecting. If the angle here psi is also equal to the angle here, both in magnitude as well as direction, then the mapping is said to be a conformal mapping, right. Otherwise, if only the magnitude of the angle is preserved and the direction is reversed, if here I have taken it as anti-clockwise direction no that is usually taken as positive direction if the angle magnitude only is preserved and the direction is reversed then it is said to be isogonal or indirectly conformal okay so in simple words how to say if it is a conformal mapping the angle in the z plane and in the w plane are both equal in magnitude and direction if the angles are equal only in magnitude it is called either isogonal or indirectly conformal okay that's all now next one is we are going to for doing problems how to verify whether a given function is conformal at a given point or not okay right so for that i am taking a function f which is analytic in a region d okay analytic means what the function is differentiable at the point as well as in the neighborhood okay differentiable in the point z0 as well as in its neighborhood then it is said to be analytic function so i am taking analytic function which is defined in the region d okay if its derivative first order derivative f dash of z0 is not equal to 0 then the mapping is said to be conformal that means at that point if the derivative is not equal to 0 at that point the function preserves the angle in both z and w plane Okay, so for the such conformal mapping, the angle of rotation is given by argument of w dash of z0 and scale factor is given by modulus of w dash of z0. So what do we mean by this? See, these are the curves c1 and c2 in the z plane, no? These are their images. The images need not be the same like c1 and c2. They may either be uh, extended, that is magnified or they may be contracted or they may be rotated. Okay, so whatever may happen. Those things are measured by using these two factors that is angle of rotation and scale factor. Right, the scale factor will give you the either it is magnificated or contracted. That factor is given by this and through how much angle it is being rotated that is given by this argument of W dash of Z0. Okay, so let's see uh, some of the problems based on this conformal mapping and angle of rotation and scale factor. Okay, so the first one is 
find the points where the function the following functions are conformal so i have uh, uh, taken some uh, seven problems here so the first one is w equal to z power n so i want to find out at which points this function is conformal so for that find w dash that is find the derivative okay what is the derivative n this is z power n no n z power n minus 1 equate it to 0 so this is 0 means what z equal to 0 isn't it only for z equal to 0 this function will become 0 that means the derivative of this function is 0 only at 0 at all other points it will not be 0 so this function is conformal at all points except at z equal to 0 i am using the result that i have stated earlier what is that result a given analytic function is conformal at z0 if f dash of z0 is what not equal to 0 so here this function is 0 at z equal to 0 that means at that point it is not conformal so what about the remaining points at the remaining points it is not 0 so at all the remaining points the function is conformal okay and the point where it is 0 are called critical points this you have studied in coordinate geometry also the same thing here also so the points where the derivative is equal to 0 is called critical point so for this function z equal to 0 is the critical point at critical point the function is not conformal okay then the second function is w equal to e power z so what is w dash of z w dash that is the derivative of e power z is e power z itself so equate it to 0 e power z is a non vanishing function it will become 0 only for what minus infinity so the function is the function is not conformed